We've also uh, taken measures to ensure that the outside group of experts or specialists, which we call the Information Preservation Deliberative Council, will also be reflected in the standards that are created, which will um, govern uh, the designation of state secrets. それから内閣総理大臣のですね、リーダーシップを持って、えー、指定が基準に従って行われていることを確保するためにですね、改善指示、これを大臣に対してできますし、それから総理大臣自らがですね、有識者会議にこの実施状況について報告をする、それから国会にも報告する、これは毎年定期的に報告をするという仕組みを設けています。We've also、uh, created a system where the、uh, Prime Minister will be able to display、uh, its, uh, le his leadership、uh, and will be able to、uh, check that the designation of state secrets、uh, is not being abused、uh, in any way. There is also a provision which allows for、um, ministers to actually be given、uh, a request or an order、uh, to improve、uh, the way in which、uh, secrets are uh, designated. Uh, in addition to this,、uh, under the、uh, leadership of the Prime Minister, the、uh, Opinions、uh, that are given、uh, by the Information Preservation Deliberative Committee will also be、um, made active use of. What I mean by this is the Prime Minister will report each year、uh, to uh, the um, uh, Deliberative Council and also to the Diet as to the current state of the、uh, designation of state secrets. えー、その他にもですね、4ページにですね、図で書いてあるようなですね、えー特定秘密の指定を検証を観察し、不適切なものについて是正を求める組織を設置することになっています。Also, as you can see on page four, we have put together a very, very detailed scheme、uh, with many different organizations, and the fundamental、uh, goal of all of this、uh, is to ensure that uh, the uh, designation of state secrets、uh, process can be monitored and、uh, always confirmed. And when、uh, there is a, a discovery made that a particular designation is considered to be an inappropriate, then there is a system in place which will allow for、um, an adjustment request to be made in regard to such designation. 約資格が4つありますけれども、4つの組織でございますけれども、あのまあ、アメリカではです、ね、大統領が変わるたびにです、ね、1つずつ移られていった経緯があるようでございますが、これをです、ね、一気にです、ね、日本においては導入をいたしまして、二重、三重のチェックをする、この詳細な内容についてはです、ね、現在、今、海外調査団が言っておりまして、その報告も受けてです、ね、1年以内に施行までにですね、この4つの組織を作るという予定で今、準備を進めております。As you can see、uh, in this、uh, schematic view, we have、uh, four different organizations、uh, that, have been, um, that are going to be created in order to ensure that the implementation is correct.、Uh, I would like to also point out that we have、uh, taken as a reference、uh, similar systems、uh, in other countries, such as the United States. We've been told actually that these four different organizations or these four different、uh, committees or boxes、uh, were created in the United States、uh, one at a time each time a new president appeared on the scene. However,、uh, we have kind of leapfrogged this process and we have created This entire system all in one fell swoop. By doing so, we are hoping to ensure that a multi layered system of protection is in place to ensure that the system is properly、uh, maintained. And、uh, based on all of this, these plans and、uh, the establishment of all of these organizations and frameworks, we hope to be able to see an implementation of the law one year from its passage. はい、えー、大体時間になってきたんですが、本当はこの国民の皆様に伝えたいことがあったんですけど、これはあの質疑応答の中で、えー、答えさせていただきたいと思いますので、えー、最後に私から申し上げたいのは、あこの取材活動との関係についてですね、えー、懸念の声がございますけれども、先ほど申し上げましたようにです、ね、通常の取材活動が、この法律によって処罰をされることにはなりません。報道機関ととのの政府との関係はあこれまでで通りであるということそして国民の皆様がですねこれによって一般の生活を脅かされたり巻き込まれるということもないということを申し上げておきたいと思いますつまりこの法律は国と国民の安全を守ることを目的とするものであり今までのですね曖昧なルールであったものを法律にすることによって政府の勝手を揺らさないというふうにする法律であるということを申し上げておきたいと思います。
Actually, I wanted to talk about uh, several other things. Uh, particularly, I want to talk about some of the different key messages that we would like to uh, get out to the general public. However, I realize that I'm um, pressed for time. And so I would like to conclude. Um, actually, I will talk about such matters during the question and answer session. But I would like to conclude uh, by uh, emphasizing to you that we are very aware that uh, voices of concern have been raised about uh, whether uh, news gathering activities uh, can be conducted as in the past. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, however, uh, in regard to normal news gathering activities, uh, there is a no uh, idea of penalizing uh, such activities at all. In other words, the relationship between uh, government and uh, media uh, will be the same as in the past. I also know that some people are anxious that the lives of the every of everyday people might somehow be threatened or impinged upon. However, there is no such um, intent behind this law. Uh, as I mentioned, the fundamental goal or intent behind the law is to protect the nation and its citizens. We wanted to be able to take all of the different uh, vague rules that existed and create a coherent, uh, common uh, set of rules uh, governing all branches of the government. In other words, I think I can say that by having this new law, we will be able to ensure that we have a system where the government cannot do everything according to its own whim. It will be constrained and will be monitored. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll go ahead and open the floor to questions, please. Journalists uh, first. Um, Anthony, why don't you go ahead, please? Anthony, Rowley, Singapore Business Times. Um, Madam Minister, unlike you, I don't have the benefit of a legal training, but if I did, I'm afraid that there are a number of um, provisions in this law which I would immediately pounce upon. For example, the, the, the phrase normal news gathering activities, I mean, that is a very wide and loose phrase, si subject to almost infinite interpretation. So how can you, I mean, how, how are you going to narrow down this field so that um, there are not frivolous um, prosecutions against journalists who are doing their job? Um, and just in, also, you, there's a reference here to des designated harmful activities, but again, all kinds of activities could, in theory, be designated as harmful. There's a reference in, on page one under item three to um, not being able to divulge the contents of negotiations or cooperation with foreign governments. This is a, an activity that forms a, a normal part of journalist's daily life. Um, so really what I'd like to ask you is, as a lawyer, um, does it not bother you that the, 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 the uh, judicial process or the judicial arm of government does not have greater powers in this to ensure that the um, act is not abused in any way. え、教授さんです。あの、え、シンガポールビジネスタイムズの代理とお申しします。え、で、ちょっとあの、弁護士、え、ではありませんので、その法的その知識はあの、大臣に比べたら全くないんでございますが、しかしながらちょっとあの、
ご質問ありがとうございます。まず司法の部分については、あの現在ある司法制度はあすべて全面適用をされます。えー、ここにですね、あの罰則の規定があるわけでございますが、あ記者の皆さんの場合はですね、えー、一番気になるのがあの、えー、犯罪行為またはですね。えーえー先ほどの、まあ、述べたようなです、ね、取得行為にです、ね、匹敵するのではないかということで,です、ね、罰則規定に当たるのではないかというところが心配な点だというふうに思います。この罰則規定については、今現在あります日本のです、ね、刑法法規と同等のです、ね、明確性を持ってです、ね、規定をされております。そして捜査機関それから裁判所などの司法機関がです、ねそれをきちっと適用をしていくわけでございます。もちろん、三審制で,です、ね、これは上訴をしてです、ね、3つの段階で,です、ね、裁判をされます。その裁判の中で,です、ね、証拠についてはです、ね、国の安全保障に関わるということで、証拠を公開の法廷に全員に見せるということは、これは控えなければならない場合であってもです、ね、裁判官がです、ね、それを証拠として採用して、この裁判の罪の認定に必要であるかというところ部分をです、ね、判断をするにあたって、インカメラ制度といって、裁判官のみがそれを見ることができる制度があります。これはですね、他の刑法でも全く同じですし、この法律でも妨げられるところはございません。また司法以外のですね、情報公開法という情報を公開する法律も全面的に適用されますから、記者の皆さんが情報公開法を使ってですね、情報開示請求をですね、強制機関にする場合も同じような制度が扱われまして、それは情報公開の審査をする。審査委員がですね、特定秘密の中を見てですね、これを開示するか、非開示するか、そしてその理由もですね、しっかりお示しをするという制度になっております。Thank you very much for your question.、Uh, first of all,、uh, in regard、uh, to the judicial system, I would like to explain that all of the existing、um, uh, judicial uh, rules and、uh, regulations and systems will come into play for the uh, self um, SDSs. Uh, in other words,、um, I think what you're particularly focusing on、uh, is、uh, the possible、uh, penalties that might be incurred by uh, reporters, uh, specifically in regard to uh, such um, uh, matters as the uh, uh, what, is,、uh, what exactly is meant by words such as criminal behavior. Or uh, behavior uh, intending to where there is an intent to、um, illegally or wrongly or unjustly、uh, gain particular kinds of information.、Um, I understand that reporters might have、uh, these kinds of concerns, but I would like to, again to emphasize that all of the aspects of this law and the penalties、uh, that have been included are in line with the criminal code system、uh, in Japan.、Um, all of the、uh, rules and measures uh, that govern uh, the investigative authorities, the court systems also apply when、uh, one is considered. Considering the, the、um, SDSs.、Uh, just as in the regular、uh, judicial system, there are three levels of courts where one can make appeals. Uh, certainly, uh, in, in, the case of,、uh, in the case of a court case where there is、uh, presented as evidence、um, an actual、um, SDS, it might not be possible to have an open court where、uh, all of the proceedings, including、uh, discussion of the、um, SDS, is available to the general public. But we do,、uh, depending on the,、uh, the judgment of the、uh, Judge、uh, in question、uh, have a system where we will be able to have what we call an in camera session. In other words, a private closed session where、uh, the judge can be able to refer uh, to uh, the、um, specific SDS in question、uh, in order to determine whether it can be used as evidence in a case. Also,、um, I would like to point out the, the information disclosure rule that we have, or law that we have in Japan, will also be applied、uh, to the SDSs. In other words,、um, just as with other pieces of information held、uh, secret by the government, a Reporter does have access、uh, to the court system. They can, first of all, ask、uh, the particular agency or ministry in question to disclose a piece of information、uh, based on the information disclosure law. And in order to assess whether such information should be made available、uh, to the reporter, there is an information disclosure review board, which in specific cases、uh, will be able to look at a special piece of information、uh, to determine、uh, whether or not it should be released. Thank you. Okay.、Uh, more questions from the press, please? Anybody from the press? Joel, go ahead.
Um, Joël Lejean from RTL France Broadcasting. Um, my question is similar to the one of Anthony, and by reading your document, I think most of us are entitled to spend 60 years in jail or not having knowledge of what we could know for 60 years. So um, let's, say, let's take an example. I happen to know some diplomats or some defense officials who tell me about some negotiations being proceeded. And um, I ask questions because I have information, and, well, they might confirm without saying it. What is the situation where am I? And where is the situation where this person is? Are they contravening the law or not? You understand? I'm sorry, no. The last part, I'm sorry. If, I, if I happen to know something that the official knows too, doesn't say yes, but kind of, you know, in the Japanese way, say, hmm, yeah, something like that. What is going to happen if I write a story? Besides, if I happen to go into, let's say, an area which has been struck by a nuclear accident, you impose a ban to the journalist to go there, but I go there. I go there and I get information. What are you going to do? And if it's maybe related to the public interest, you know, I go to a nuclear place which is forbidden, I find out information, I disclose it to my audience which is for the public interest, and you still say that I'm guilty of crime and you put me in jail or something like that. I mean, do you think it is really fair for journalism? And do you think that it is exactly a necessity to emphasize such policy at this period of your history, precisely after Fukushima, um, since the accident in 2011。はい、え、フランスのアルティエル放送の、もう ことにいたしましょう。で、私ある情報をしてるんですが、それの確認をお願いしても、なかなかその、え、先方様はそうであるとかそうでないとこはっきり言ってくれないんですけど、なんとなく日本的な曖昧ね、あの、え、言い方で
え取材をして、えー、その答えが曖昧な中でですねこれは真実だろうなという認識を得てですねそれを記事に書いたというようなことで罪になることはございません。In regard to the first example that you mentioned where、uh, you try to confirm a specific information, the veracity of a particular information, piece of information、um, by an official, you don't get a straight answer, but the impression that you get is that it's probably true and you write、uh, the article thinking that it is true, you would not be s u b j e c t e d to penalty for such an act. 財刑法定主義というんですけれども、刑罰法規にしっかりとそのことが書いてあり、その要件を満たさなければ、裁判官がですね、それを認めるはずもありません。またこれはその記者にとってフェアかどうかということでございますがどの国でも同じような法律がございましてそれを犯罪行為また犯罪行為に匹敵する行為でですね取得した場合漏洩したものもですね罰されるのはですね同じ法律がございます。You would not be prosecuted or you would not be、um, pursued or、uh, penalized using this law, under this law. Okay, thank you. Teddy, go ahead, please. I'm Teddy Jimbo、uh, with the video news.、Uh, thank you for the opportunity.、Um, I think, as you、uh, described,、uh, many safeguards were、uh, imposed in the law in the process of.、Uh, Negotiation、uh, with the opposition and so forth. However,、uh, whether those safeguards actually work s on that really depends on、um, the, whether there's a sort of,、um, you know, there's so much discretion、uh, on the part of the, the, the power holders. So,、um, my question is as follows、uh, I think the, the basic presumption that this law it will work as designed is、uh, based on the assumption that there is. A,、um, a good information disclosure law, and also a public record management law, and also a whistleblower law intact. Those three laws、uh, in Japan are considered to be still very weak, and I think the concern that those safeguards you described may not work c o m e from that, that, that basic、uh, assumption that we don't have the ground that those、uh, safeguards will actually work. Uh, you are a、um, minister, but at the same time, you are a lawyer. So, uh, uh, don't you have, as a lawyer, have a concern that those safeguards may not work because Japanese、uh, other laws、uh, surrounding this uh, uh, state secrecy law, such as three laws I mentioned,、uh, is not sufficiently、uh, made? And、uh, one, uh, one additional follow up question is now you are in power, so you Try to defend this law, but、uh, you never know when LDP might、uh, hand over pass to someone else. Are you really comfortable that this law can be imposed as designed if someone else, other than your party,、uh, maybe DPJ, maybe even Koizumi san or something,、uh, comes in power? And are you really confident that this law is already enough, have, has enough safeguard? Thank you.、Mm. 
Thank you very much. Um, as you have mentioned, uh, we do understand that many m safeguards have been built into this law, uh, particularly as a result of uh, numerous uh, uh, negotiations with different parties, such as. <笑>すいません。<笑> その大前提としましては、3つの、ま、その関連法が、ま、機能するだろうという、ま、あの考えがあると思うんでございます。その ガードはちゃんと機能するんだろうかということにおきましては民主党あるいはその小泉元首相を中心とする政権が出たといたしましたらこの今のこの法律が予定通りその想定通りにその施行される運用されるということに関しまして十分な自信はございますでしょうかはいこの法律がですね適正に運用をさせされることがですね重要であることは言うまでもありませんそのためにあの先ほどのようなですねチェックの仕組みを施工までにですね設けていくことにしておりましてその一番目の有識者会議をですね先日立ち上げたところでございますでこの有識者会議の意見も聞きながらですね残り
指定をし、そしてそれを国民に対しては、政治責任を負っていくということが大切であろうと思います。どんな政権であっても、国民から選ばれて、そしてその政治責任を負っていくわけでございますので、そういった意味では、今までよりも進んだものになったというふうに思っています。Um, as I、uh, mentioned earlier, the,、uh, ensuring the、uh, uh, appropriate or proper implementation of this law is、uh, extremely crucial. It goes without saying that this is one of the most important things that we have in mind. That is why we are uh, preparing uh, a very detailed uh, network uh, system uh, and all these different organizations and processes、uh, before、uh, the actual implementation of the law、uh, about a year from now.、Uh, one of the、uh, most important aspects、uh, that we have in mind is uh, the uh, active use of the、um, Committee of experts, outside experts that we have、uh, in place. As you know,、uh, they had their first meeting、uh, only a few days ago. We would like to reflect their opinions and their thoughts、uh, as we、uh, create the remaining organizations and、uh, the remaining uh, systems. Um, in order uh, to be able to uh, have a proper implementation of this uh, new law, we